All right, this is number seven from the class. First thing you guys are going to need to do on this, we can get rid of the decimals until we distribute first, okay? So you will need to distribute these first. And again, we're going to have to distribute this as a negative 0 0.125, all right? Uh, so don't forget that we have to distribute this both to the 80x and this would be a negative 7x, okay? Because it's going to change this minus into a plus. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So uh, 0.5 times 0 0.25 would just be half of 0 0.25 at 0 0.125x minus 0.5 times 2 is 1 minus 0 0.125 times 80x would give you a 10x. Now once again, you got a negative 0.125 times negative 7x, so that would give you a positive 0 0.875, and this equals that negative 46. The next thing we want to do on this is combine like terms on the left side, because the negative 6 doesn't have anything to combine with it. So I've got these three x's right here, which in a calculator I can put in, okay? I would put 0 0.125 minus 10 plus 0 0.875, and that would give me a negative 9 of my x's. Now I still have that minus 1, and this equals negative 46. Uh, this negative 1 can't be here, so we need to move it to the right side, or just get rid of it from that side by adding 1 to both sides. Now what this does is it makes a zero right there, which means we can really just erase this whole stinking thing. If I can erase this part right here, okay, so it erases that, and I have still the negative 9x, but this would equal now a negative 45. From this point, I'm just going to divide both sides by a negative 9. So I have division with two negatives here. Uh, which means my answer is going to be a positive 45 divided by 9 is 5. Finally, once again, I can't stress this enough, I would go back if I had a calculator and in the left side of this equation I would replace x with 5, use the order of operations to solve it and just make sure that this is negative 46. Otherwise it gives us an untrue statement and I know that my answer was incorrect. I would have to come back somewhere in here and figure out what I did wrong. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, hopefully you guys find this useful. All right, some of you guys remember this example from class. I'm going to go over it again just so you have this as a resource. Uh, if you really like these videos, please subscribe. It helps me out even just a little bit, all right? Uh, but let's look at this. The difference of 5 times a number. So difference, we know, is subtraction, right? So we're going to show a subtraction. It's the difference of 5 times a number and 9. So we have 5 times a number. I'm going to use x, and you guys seem to like x. We used it a lot in class. 5 times a number and 9. That's the difference, all right? So we're going to subtract those two. But not only that, but we also know that this is equal, so is means it's equal to 8 less than a number. This is where we ran into some huge problems during class, right? Is it 8 minus x, or is it x minus 8? And so we kind of had an example on this, right? Let's, let's go ahead and break away from this one real quick. Let's go ahead and say that, uh, let's go ahead and just put in 8 less than 10, just like you see here, 8 less than 10, right? Well, if I had 8 less than 10, what would my value be? You guys know that that's 2, right? Well, how did you get that? Did you do 8 minus 10, or did you do 10 minus 8? And of course, most of you guys know that you would have to do 10 minus 8, because 8 less than 10 is 2. So it's the same thing with this, but instead of 10, it's just some number that we don't know. It's, it's the number, and it didn't say what it was. So in this example, we would use the x. I hope that kind of helps you guys figure out how to use that in the equation. Let's go ahead and put it in. All right, so I have that x minus 8. 
Pretty much everyone in, that was in class said that they could do this very easily. It's just a matter of writing it in. So I hope this helps you guys out, okay? Let's go ahead and just finish solving. I'm going to do a one step uh, to get us the coefficient equals some value. Let's go ahead and show that. All right, so this is what I have after subtracting x from both sides and adding 9 to both sides final thing I'll do is just divide both sides by 4 and I have x equals 1 fourth. Some of you prefer the decimal which is fine. It's just a 0 0.25. There you go. Now you could double check this. Uh, again you would just use the words the difference of 5 times the number so 5 times 0 0.25 minus the 9 what would that give you? And then you do the same thing here. Uh, 8 less than 0.25 would give you some value. It looks like it would be a negative 7.75. All right, and that's the way you would check that. Again, I hope this helps. If it really does, you guys, please subscribe. Uh, there will be more videos on the way to help you with this class and uh, maybe your other future math classes.